ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger and want to meet you. Just give me my mother. We're going to be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Air, right flank, New York, 10606. $100 for all the dark 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start All sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPK 51st Annual Pass Mobile Facebook page. More updates will be available Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Passover. Yes, Shalom. We are the ISPK out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. We've been teaching the truth according to this Bible since 1969 that the so called black man, Native Indian man, and Hispanic man are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right, today, you're going to be bringing out the laws of God. The so-called black man, native Indian man and Hispanic man was given the mandate or the office to distribute and to teach the laws of the most high power and take charge of this planet. All right, first, we're going to go to the words of Christ who my correct name is called Yahweh Shai. The book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. You don't think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. No contrary to your Christian pastor, he has a Bible, but he is not saying to you the words that Christ has spoken. Your Christian pastor does not obey the words of Christ. Because Christ is saying, read again. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Christ is saying, do not think that I have come to destroy the law or anything that the prophets have spoken. You know. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He said that he did not come to destroy the laws of God, but to fulfill the laws of God. But verse 18. For verily I say unto you, for surely Christ is saying unto you, so called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man, read on, till heaven and earth pass, till the heavens and till the earth pass, read on, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. One jot or one tittle from the laws of God shall not pass in no way, no, because. The Christian leaders have taught lies to society. Now what we are having, we are having an epidemic of the coronavirus. If you look to the eastern side of the world, the coronavirus is destroying everything. It is destroying everybody in so much that right now it is damaging the economy. You so-called black man must have sense enough to know if the so-called Chinese man can cook a bat and can eat dog, he should in no way be showing you or selling you food. That's, That's right. right. All right, because the most I have said, he have given you his laws. You so-called black man, you hold the wisdom of the most high in the Bible. All right, give me some example. Because the so-called black man have been given the laws of God since Adam, straight down to our King Yahweh Shai. The laws of the Bible is what the black man needs to rebel his society. The laws of the Bible is what the black man needs to ensure 
that the coronavirus does not take you. Because in the Bible, there are laws of cleansiness. There are laws of morality. There are laws in the Bible to keep the so-called black man away from the punishments of God. Because we have been given the laws of the most high power. The so-called right. black man, the so-called native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. That's right. He did not give these laws to any other race on the planet. Any other race on this planet should be in no wise leading anything in this society. Because when the heathen rules in this society, what you're going to get? You're going to get the coronavirus. You're going to get Ebola. You're going to get SARS. Because these nations do not have the wisdom of the Most High. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 127 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto who? Unto Jacob. The Most High said he has shown his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. We have been given the words of God. We have been given the knowledge of God. Read on. The statutes and his judgments unto Israel. We were given the statutes of God and the judgments of God. All right. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. And his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto who? Unto Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. Unto the so-called black man. Read on. Verse 20. He had not dealt so with any nation. And the Most High God have not given his laws to the so-called Chinese man. That is why he can conjure in his mind through his lust to eat bat and to eat dog and to eat octopus. Because the so-called Chinese man does not have the wisdom of the Most High. The wisdom of the Most High shows you in the book of Levit Leviticus, you, are have, you have clean meats and you have unclean meats. Okay? When you look, the so-called black man is not supposed to be consuming pork. The so-called black man is not supposed to be consuming crab, lobster, and shrimp. That's right. These things destroy the temple of the so-called black man. That's right. That's right. Because this Bible was given to the so-called black man, your Christian pastor, these heathens have this Bible, and they're trying to teach you so-called black man what the Bible is saying. But this Bible was only given to the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. And we're going to read that from the laws and from the words of the Most High. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. So now Paul is saying, I say the truth in Christ. So Paul is saying that he is speaking the truth according to the Bible, according to the wisdom, and according to the words of the Most High. Read on. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Read on. Verse 2. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow mm -hmm. in my heart. Right. Verse 3. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ. So Paul is saying that he wished that he was cut off from Christ to save his people. All right? And this is what the ISUPK is doing here today under commanding General Yohanna. We are here today sacrificing ourselves and our time to teach you so-called black man that this Bible contains your laws, contains your heritage, and contains your culture. All right, read on. For I wish myself a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsman according to the flesh. For who? My kinsman according to the flesh. So this Bible is according to Paul for his kinsman according to the flesh. Read on. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? And that is who you are, so-called black man. You are the Israelites according to the Bible, so-called black man. You are not a Trinidadian by race. You are not a Jamaican by race. You are not a Grenadian by race. Who you are? You are not a Venezuelan by Who race. These places, these places are countries. Yes. You are an Israelite according to the Bible, according to history, and according to archaeology. Right. You are an Israelite, so-called black man, according to your bloodline. You, so-called black man, 
are the descendants of Shem. You so-called black man, being from the Caribbean, are of the descendants of the tribe of Benjamin. The American blacks are the descendants of the tribe of Judah. The Venezuelans coming here, they are the descendants of the tribe of Asher. Wake up, black man. Wake up and know your culture. Wake up, black man, and know your heritage. Wake up, so-called black man, and stop following the lies of the so-called oppressor. Stop following the lies of your Christian leader. That's right. Because your Christian leader tells lies. All right, give me first John to what this All right. The so-called black man must learn to understand that it is your people that is going to teach you about your culture and about your heritage. The so-called black man is quick to run to the white man to learn of his heritage. Which Chinese run to the East Indian to learn of their culture? Which, Chi which East Indian does that? That is foolishness. All right. The book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 4. He that said, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Read that again. He that said, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. All right. And this is what is happening here today. Everyone believes that they know this Bible. Everyone that believes they know something about this Bible. And we must understand Book of First John chapter 2 and verse 4. He that said, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. So everyone wants to say that they know God. But according to the Bible and according to the words of God, he is saying, he that said that he knows me and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. And your Christian pastor is a liar because he does not keep the laws of God. That's right. And we are here today to expose your Christian pastor for his lies. Your Christian pastor is responsible for the coronavirus. Your Christian pastor is responsible for SARS, for Ebola, for AIDS. Because your Christian pastor is supposed to teach you about the laws of God. This office of teaching the laws of God is supposed to be distributed and is supposed to be taught by the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. These laws in the Bible are rules and regulations and guidelines and a protection for the so-called black man. Which society runs without laws? Which society runs without rules? The same way the earth today has laws and it has rules, it is the same way today that the so-called black man has laws and rules from the most high power. The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 4. Who are Israelites? To whom pertain it the adoption? Who pertain the what? The adoption. The adoption in the scriptures pertain to the so-called black man. Read on. And the glory and the covenant. The glory and the covenants in this Bible belongs to the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. Read on. And the giving of the law. And the what? And the giving of the law. So who's supposed to be given the laws of the Bible? Who's supposed to be teaching the laws of the Bible? Read it again. Who are what? Who are Israelites? The Israelites is supposed to be teaching the laws of the Bible. The laws of the Bible is a protection for the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. That's right. Because the Most High God is a righteous father. That is why he has given you laws. He has given you laws as a protection and as a hedge to protect you from all these negative things. That's right. From all these diseases. Where comes so-called black man? The book of, of First John, chapter 2, verse 3. All right, read on. And hereby we do know that we know him. Read that again. And hereby we do know that we know him. Right, because everyone wants to philosophize. Your Christian pastor wants to philosophize and say that he knows God. But according to the Bible, your Christian pastor and you with your Christian teachings does not know God. That's right. Come up again. And hereby we do know that we know him. Uh -huh. If we keep his commandments. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. If we keep the commandments, that is going to show that we know the most high power. These Chinese do not know God. These Chinese hate God. That's that right. is why they suffer today. That's right. Because they do not implement the laws of God. 
They need to be taught. They need to wait on the children of Israel to bring order to this planet and they will understand what is the laws of God. That's right. Because the Christian church loves to talk about sin. They love to talk about sin and they don't know a thing about this Bible. The book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Read it again. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Right, and this here now, so-called black man, is the most glorious time for the so-called black man. Because here Paul is saying, sin or lawlessness shall have no dominion over you. Right, because the so-called black man today, you are under grace, so-called black man. And grace is a powerful thing, so-called black man. No, you're not going to sin and go to run to kill a dog. You're not going to sin and run to go and kill a lamb to cover for your sin. Now when that is taking place, now you are under the bondage of sin. But now you're under grace. Now you're able to present your body as a living sacrifice. Now you're showing the most high power that you are no longer under the dominion of sin. Because now you have that chance to make a choice to walk upright and pleasing before the Most High. So this so-called black man is the most powerful time for you to show your God that you are willing to return and obtain this kingdom. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. You are not under what? We are not under the law, but under grace. You are not under the law, so-called black man, to run and kill an animal, and cover for your sins. Now you're under grace. Now you can step up so-called black man and do that which is right. Do that which is according to the law, so-called black man. Because so-called black man is going to understand that according to the scriptures, contrary to what society tells you, so-called black man, you are the most valuable person and people on the planet. They love to call you sisters. They love to call you good for nothing, so-called black man. But there are prophecies in this Bible that says different about you, so-called black man, if you follow the laws, commandments, and statutes of the most high power. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. No, so-called black man, the most high God is saying, keep these laws and do them. Because this is your wisdom, so-called black man, in the sight of the nations. This is what you must understand, black man. You are the wisdom of the Most High on this planet, we don't. Which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep careful and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. And this is your wisdom, so-called black man, and your understanding in the sight of the nations when you keep the laws of the most high power. You won't be walking around here with diseases and ailments and pains. You will not be walking around with judgments from the most high. You will not be walking around, so-called black man, toting death but you will be walking a life because you are walking the laws of the Most High Power. That's right. The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. And this is how the so-called black man is going to know what is right and what is not right as we walk a long life on the planet. Read it again. For whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So when we sin, what we are saying, we are saying that we are breaking the laws of the Most High. The book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 3. We don't. For this is the love of God. Read it again. For this is the love of God. So your Christian pastor loves to talk about love. That's right. And the Bible is going to tell you what is love. Read from the top again. For this is the love of God. So there's nothing else that a man can say is love, but what? That we keep his commandments. That we keep the commandments of God. 
We following the laws of God, putting a protection around our people. That is how we can say that we love our people. That is how we can say we are priests and prophets of the Most High. Because we teach our people to follow the laws of God. If you continually want to learn of the laws of God, what you're going to have to do is read the point up again. For this is the love of God. Let's exercise the love of God. Read on. That we keep his commandments. That we keep the commandments of the most high power. Alright, this is the ISTPK out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yahana. ISTPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if you're not the jigger and wanna meet you Just give me my motherfucking We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave, White Plains, New York, 10606 $100 for all the dark 17 and over Kids are for free Start sending in your funds today but do they trust for the booking guys? information, check us out See, on the ISUP 51st Annual Pass Over Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Pass Over.